What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike. Welcome back to another The Last of Us video. Now, this is gonna be the review for episode four, titled, Please Hold On To My Hand. And this was a good episode, man. I think it was probably a little bit better than the third episode, in my opinion. The third episode was probably my least favorite so far, but I did love the Bill character. I loved seeing him so much, man, from the game to the show and stuff. I definitely enjoyed his character, but this episode was better in my opinion because we got a lot more Joel and Ellie, and that's what I love. The description for this episode reads, after abandoning their truck in Kansas City, Joel and Ellie attempt to escape without drawing the attention of vindictive rebel leader. Now I'm gonna give this episode a nine out of 10. I don't think I rated any episode of this show below nine because it's just that good. But basically, we just see, you know, Joel and Ellie on the move. And I will say that this episode was a little slow at the start. It didn't really get action in the episode until, you know, about 20, 30 minutes into the episode. It was a little bit slow, man. We just seen Joel and Ellie on the move. You know, they're camping out. You know, they're cooking up whatever they can to survive. Joel's making coffee while Ellie sleeps and stuff. And they're just kind of getting to know each other even more. You know, Joel is still irritated with Ellie at times, but he is opening up to her way more than he did in previous episodes. And we know how close Joel and Ellie are in The Last of Us Part 2 game. So that moment is coming. We just have to be patient. We have to let the story build. And these two will eventually be inseparable. It's all leading up to the moment where Joel, you know, takes Ellie to the Fireflies for the cure or whatever. And it turns out that it's going to end up killing Ellie. So Joel has to rescue her. That's what we're coming to. And that's the moment right there. Joel really realizes that he cares about this kid and he can't let her die. But really good episode, man. We see Joel and Ellie are driving. And I really love this part right here where she's in the back seat and she has that magazine and Joel's in the front seat. This part right here is right out of the game, man. I remember the scene vividly where Ellie is reading that magazine in the back seat and Joel is just driving. It's the exact like facial expressions, everything from the game. And I really appreciated this moment, man. I remembered it so clearly from the game because I just played the game not too long ago. I played the remastered PS4 version of The Last of Us. I want to get a PS5 and I want to play, you know, the remake of The Last of Us Part 1. I really want to do that. But this scene was so good, man, right out of the game. And then we see Joel and Ellie, they're driving through the town and stuff that they come across. And these dudes want to try to ambush them. A dude's acting like he's hurt. And Joel knows what's up, man. He keeps driving. And somebody from above drops like this brick down on his car you know to mess his car up and joel swerves and they end up inside of this building and this is just an all-out fight right here man we see joel he takes cover and so does ellie he tells ellie to get into this hole in the wall so he can take care of these dudes so he takes out most of them right and one of them ends up getting close to joel they end up fighting the guy is on top of Joel, you know, choking him out and stuff. It didn't look good for Joel, but luckily Ellie had that gun that she took. So she comes out and she points the gun at the dude and she was hesitant, obviously, for obvious reasons. But she ends up pulling that trigger and dude gets hurt. Dude's not dead or anything. It's not like Ellie killed the dude. But Joel tells Ellie, you know, to get back behind the wall and he takes out the dude. I can't lie, man. I felt bad for dude because he was really begging and pleading for his life. He probably was a good person, man. He was just working for the wrong team and Joel cannot leave any loose ends. So he had to do what he had to do. We all know from playing the game, man, you cannot let any of these wolves or whatever live. You cannot let any of the enemies live. No matter what, you have to take them out. And that's exactly what Joel did. We see this character named Kathleen played by Melanie Linsky. And it turns out, you know, she's going to be a villain. She's on the hunt for Joel because she finds out one of her men are dead. So she gathers up a lot of her people and they're on the hunt for Joel. 
So that's what's going to happen in the next episode, man. You know, Kathleen and her people, they're going to really be after Joel and Ellie. So Joel and Ellie are going to have to be careful. You know, they're going to really have to put in some work and take out some of these people. It seems like Kathleen runs this crew. She's in charge. And then this guy named Perry, he's the next in line. So it seems like these two are the leaders of this group. And I can't wait to see more from them. Then we see Joel and Ellie, you know, they post up in this building trying to get some sleep and stuff. And Joel is doing the smart thing. You know, he's pouring out some shattered glass on the ground so that he can hear if anybody sneaks up on him when he's sleeping. And, you know, Ellie and Joel, they're just laying there. You know, Ellie's making a joke and stuff. And she actually makes Joel laugh. Joel is really cracking up at what Ellie said. And I love to see this moment because, you know, Ellie hasn't really been able to make Joel laugh so far. So it was nice seeing this, but they end up falling asleep. And then we see it cuts to the next scene. You know, Ellie is saying, Joel, wake up. And next thing you know, you see Henry. He has a gun out and he has Ellie. We see Henry and Sam. And if you guys have played the game, then you know exactly how this is going to end. We know that Joel and Ellie are going to team up with Henry and Sam to get where they need to go. They're going to be together for a while, but it doesn't end too good. But yeah, man, that's the end of the episode. I really enjoyed it. Great episode right here. Nine out of ten. I cannot wait until the next episode. Episode five will be coming out this Friday, not Sunday. It'll be coming out this Friday because of the Super Bowl. So we get two episodes in one week, man. We get an early episode. So that's what's up. I can't wait. Comment your thoughts down below. What did you think of this episode? What are your theories, thoughts, predictions, and everything else? Keep supporting your boy. And I'll be continuing to bring y'all the Last of Us content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.